Well, once again, as a coach, how is the feeling? Uh, it's a great feeling and, you know, of course, always like, you know, I came to EPL a few months ago and um, very happy to be back again and uh, looking forward to, uh, for the challenge. How do you see the challenges here now, this time around? Uh, it, it's different from where I came in 2011. Uh, 2011, the team was in the uh, Division 4 when I came first time. Now it's a ODI status country and T20 status country. So the challenges are different on the field. Uh, there are a lot, lot of things to work and uh, of course as you all know me like you know I just want to take Nepal into the next level and uh, uh, you know get into a few World Cups and have that positive positive atmosphere within Nepal cricket. What are the few things that you might have thought before coming to Nepal? Um, it's it's uh, like you know when you talk about the cricket side um, uh, there's a lot to improve and one positive thing is uh, uh, that we have, uh, you know, great talent coming up, um, and uh, the cricket structure in the world also has been a bit changed. So Nepal has to adjust to in, into that setup. So a um, lot of planning, a lot of work to do. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to for that. The current situation right now in Nepali cricket is not that good because of uh, the players agitating against the Cricket Association of Nepal, and few players are suspended. Uh, are uh, facing punishment as well. How do you think you are going to solve these sort of problems? Uh, I think, like you know, it, it's it's a very common thing around the world. If if you ask me, um, and uh, I think uh, once we getting into a room and discuss about everything, what what needs to be done, I, I don't see an issue. Uh, and uh, I think that you know the, all the players will uh, you know help me and help everyone, like you know, in the management to. Uh, move forward as a team and, and I think the biggest thing is about all about like you know Nepal national team and, and national cricket so it's not about any, any individual so I, I think when we move in that direction I think everything will be solved. Have you had a conversation with the players before coming to Nepal? Um, I'm in touch with uh, uh, some, some players uh, I mean basically uh, like you know in texting and stuff so uh, everybody I think you know very positive uh, come up be coming back here so looking forward like you know like for everything. Uh, what is your plan with the 2020 World Cup qualifier coming up? Uh, well it's, it's a very short time period like you know for preparation uh, but I think Nepal is in a, a good setup where you know lots of talent is there so we really need to short out all these little things that we have at, at the moment and getting into the into, uh, training uh, uh, camp. Um, I, I don't think Nepal should miss any of the World Cups from now on. Yeah. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. Thank you.